Hello and welcome to the Helen Ponton VA video blog. I'm Matthew Hill. I'm Carol Ponton. Today we want to talk to you about decisions from the Board of Veterans Appeals. And just to just to put the Board of Veterans Appeals where they are in the VA, you first you file a claim at the local regional office, they make a decision, you file an appeal, they make another decision, and then you appeal again, and at that point it goes to Washington to the board. Washington to the Board of Veterans Appeals, also known as the BVA. And when the BVA makes a decision, one of three things happens. It's either a grant, denial, or a remand. And what we want to talk about today is the difference between a grant and a denial. Well, a grant means they're going to give you some benefit. Whether, say, you had not been service-connected for PTSD, they will say, I find the veteran is service-connected for PTSD. So it goes back to the regional office for them to effectuate that. What does that mean? Well, you're granted service connection, but what's your rating? What's the start date? So the, v, the regional office has to make additional decisions and then send out a rating decision. And, and that's key because if you fought for three years, five years, seven years to get PTSD, we'll say service connected, and the BVA says we service connect this, well then the, the real money, if you will, is back when it goes to the regional office and they get to give you a rating. If they give you a rating of 30% going back seven years, that's a huge difference between 30 or, or 70 or 100. And the same thing is the, the effective date. As Carol said, if you've been fighting for seven years, but somehow they only give you a two-year retro, that's... Which we find a lot, or a one-year retro. Uh, I had a veteran who had had a stroke, and they gave him 10% back one year. He was entitled to 100% back 20 years. So you really need to watch just because the regional office makes a decision on the remand, that doesn't mean they do it the, correctly. You need to... Or the, um, or the grant. The grant, yeah. right. So I mean, it's, it's, the, it's winning the battle and losing the war. You win the battle of service connection, yet it's sent back to the regional office, which it denied you twice, and they lowball you on the rating right. or they shortchange you on the effective date. And so that's that's what to watch out for in a grant. And you have to appeal that. Okay? Yeah, you, you appeal it all the way back up. Now, you will see in the BVA decision, it should specifically say a grant of service connection for PTSD. If you're already awarded PTSD, then it would say a grant of 70% for PTSD. And so if, if you see that, it's a specific rating. Well, you know you're going to get that rating. You're right. going to go back. But what would you watch out for there? I'd Maybe. watch out for the effective date. Exactly. Because unless the VA says, effective this date, the BVA says that, then the regional office has the opportunity to decide what date they think is correct. And we find that they under-provide um, rather than over-provide benefits. So you need to be really careful. And a lot of people think, well, this is what the BVA said, so I can't appeal it. That's not true. Mm -hmm. The BVA only said probably your service connected. It was up to the regional office to make those other two decisions. Well, and the BVA specifically says we can't in the first instance, meaning after it's service connected, we can't in the first instance make the determination on rating or effective date. Right. So let's transition now to remands. And how do you see, what's the difference between a remand and a grant? Well, first of all, the vast majority of what the BVA does is remand. So you're more likely to see a remand than anything else. And the remand is saying, we need something more done. We need you to get more evidence. We need you to send the veteran out for a compensation and pension exam. We need you to obtain service medical records. Uh, and so they direct the regional office to do a number of things. Um, now, if you have a grant, usually that grant is effectuated. In other words, you get a rating decision within two or three months. If you have a remand, you could be looking at two or three years. And you have to be really careful because these get lost. Um, Say that the reach, the BVA said, I'm going to remand you on four issues. You may end up in three years getting a, a decision on one issue. Right. You need to make sure that they, you're going to have to write in and get them to move. This happens quite frequently on a number of the BVA remands. The VA is, is overwhelmed with paperwork. It's really easy to lose things, and it's your claim. You've got to pay attention to what they're not doing. Okay. And, and, and what she's saying there is you don't want them to get lost in that crease or gap between what the BVA is doing and what the regional office is doing. And unfortunately, a lot of claims do get lost in there. They'll say, oh, we never, regional office say, oh, we never got the paperwork, or they'll say, we're, as Carol said, working on all this other stuff. So remand is, you know, it's not a loss, but you still need to be on your toes because they're sending it back for certain evidence. You want to get a copy of that evidence and respond to it 
right. uh, so that you know it, it's, it goes back up to the BVA with the most favorable light as possible. This is wonderful because it gives you a chance to somehow you didn't get the benefits you want. This gives you a chance to do that. So remember, the VVA is saying, I want to see all this evidence. You can't rely on the VA to collect that evidence for you, even though they're directed to do that. Let me give you an, uh, an instance. Say you have a private orthopedic doctor who's been treating you, and they want to, the VVA wants to see those records. Well, the VA will write a letter to the private doctor and say, send me those records, but I'm not going to pay for them. And most private doctors want to be paid. And so those records will never end up in the file and the VA will just show two letters to the doctor and nobody responded. So you need to go out and get all the evidence that's favorable and put it in. Send it, send it in to the VA and make sure they have it. When you see the decision that the VA makes, make sure that evidence shows up there. Okay. This is also a chance maybe to go out to your doctor and get the additional evidence which the BVA feels is missing. Like what was the range of motion, or do you have a problem with instability for your knee? Get your, get, this is a chance to get that proof for your case. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you soon again on this space.